Hey, this is Vo from Vocal Pockets, and I'm here to show you how you can use Groove Builders in beats that you've already made, and also share some tips and tricks on using them in Logic Pro X. There are two ways that you can integrate Groove Builders into your existing projects. The first option is to start with the project file template that we provide in the download. And here I have the template for the Super Groove Pack. Within the browser and Logic, where you can come to on the top right here and open this up, you want to find your existing project. So I'll search for an existing project, and here's one called Old Beat. I want to open this up. I'll double click it. And then what you want to do is make sure that this global tab is, is highlighted, and then click Control A, and you can load all the material from your old project into this session. And then you can click Add. And just like that, you have your existing project with all instruments, plugins, and settings intact with the Super Group Pack template or any other group builder template that you have. And as you can see, you can click on these instruments and you can see that they're all quantized to the grid. But if I open up the quantize panel here, I have all of my groove builders here. So I could select and I could apply these to different instruments. So I could select this region of kicks and let's say apply the pop groove builder. I could select this region of kicks. And I could select a jazz groove builder. I can come to my hi-hats. And let's use a, let's say, jazz delay groove builder. And we'll change the velocity so that I have to have more of a realistic feel. I can come to my melody, select a country groove builder, adjust the timing strength, and so on and so forth. What I like to do is come in here to the groove builder template that I have and hide the track. So I'll click select hide tracks. And I do this for two reasons. Number one, it makes my session cleaner and allows me to focus on my instrument tracks. And number two, it reduces the chances that I accidentally delete a groove builder because if I delete a groove builder, I won't be able to use it and I want to use it. So I hide the track and reduce that risk. So that's option one. The second option is to start in an existing beat and then import groove builders into that existing beat. So here's a session that does not have any groove builders loaded and I'll open up the quantize panel. You'll see these are all just stock options. So what I'll do is within the browser of Logic, I will find the Groove Builder Logic Pro X template. So I can click over here to the browser. And if I know where it is on my desktop, I can come over here and I can drag the folder over to this section. And this is for the Boombat Groove Builder collection. I'll double click to open this folder. I'll click on the actual Groove Builders. And then this is the key folder that we want here, the Logic Pro X template. And you can see that this one is marked with boom back. And what I like to do is right click and make this a bookmark. So when you make it a bookmark, you can much more easily find it every time you open old beat in Logic. You just come over here to the bookmark section. And there you go. There's your Logic template with boom back groove builders. And you'll see I already have one here for the super groove pack. So what I can do is open up this template. Then I'm going to go down to number one where it says instrument, click on content, and then click add. And all the groove builders from the Logic Pro X template are now added into my existing beat. And what I can do is then select them all, click make groove template. And then if I come down here, now I have all my groove builders from the Logic Pro X template. If I wanted to add Groove Builders from the Super Groove Pack, I could do the same thing. I'll go to my bookmarks, click on the Super Groove Pack, open up the template, click on Content next to the track, click Add, highlight the track, make Groove Template. And now I have Groove Builders from both the Boom Back Groove Builder Collection and the Super Groove Pack. So now I can mix and match them and create feelings that have never been felt before. Now what I'll do is select both of these tracks. I can mute them since I don't need them and then I'll hide them. And now I'm ready to apply any of my Groove Builders to any of my tracks in my session. Now the final trick that I wanna share in this video is an alternative way to cycle through and try Groove Builders. In my videos, you'll usually see me clicking on a Groove Builder on this quantize panel list and applying it here. But there's another way to do this. You could set up a keyboard shortcut. If I go to key commands, click edit, and I search for quantize, you can see that there's a key command to cycle through quantization settings, right? And you could set this up yourself. For me, I've chosen control, command, and then comma, or period, depending on which direction I wanna cycle. 
So again, Logic has instructions on how to set this up if you'd like to do so. Now, in order to actually make this work, you want to open up the event editor. Now, normally I would come here and select the Groove Builder and I could tweak the velocity. I could update the quantize strength. But with this new technique, you would select the quantization from this panel here in the event list editor. So I'll select a different Groove Builder. Let's select up for it and you'll see the notes and the velocity change. Now, in order to cycle through them, now I will make sure that they're all highlighted and then hold control command and then period or comma, depending on what direction I want to cycle. I'll show you what this looks like visually. And I could essentially play a hi-hat setting live. I sold the snare, sold the hi-hat, make sure all these are selected, right? Let's loop this first five bars and I'll press play. All right, so let's say I wanted to work with that. I can see this is the fatigue groove builder here, 30 seconds. So if I wanted to tweak the velocity and timing, I would need to come over to the fatigue groove builder, select it here, and then I could tweak the velocity and the quantized strength there. So this is just another way to try out different groove builders without having to click on each one and cycling through them with a shortcut. So that's it. If this was helpful, please like the video and ensure that you're subscribed to the channel for more helpful content. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day and hopefully that day is spent creating music.